hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to the Millennial Movie Monday. But this time, this is brought to you by Hello Beans winner, Nicole. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial like to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time. That's on Mondays, on Fridays. My top tier patrons, my millennial movie members can pick any movie of any year, of any genre, and I gotta watch it. Now, this Monday is actually brought to you, like I said, by Hello Beans winner, Nicole. If you don't know what I'm talking about, in October, I do something called Hello Beans where I watch skinny, skinny movies. I watch scary movies and there is a secret phrase hidden at the end of every single one of them. You know, I have a big giveaway at the end where I pull winners names and if your name gets chosen, something you get to do is to pick any movie and I gotta watch it just like my millennial movie members get to do. So this comes from Nicole, like I said, and it is called Second Hand Lions. Now I have never heard of this movie before. I have no idea what it's about, who is in it, nothing like that. So we gonna look up a movie poster. So this is what I am looking at. It's giving me Dwight Schrute from The Office. <laughs> Farmer, corn, Michael Caine, which I, I saw him in a Muppet Christmas Carol. Robert Duvall, the only Duvall I thought I knew was Shelly. Haley Joel Osment, which I met him, yes a him, the first time I met him, I called him a her, was in The Sixth Sense. So, the McCain brothers have finally met their match and I see a little French bulldog and a lion tail. Uh, I didn't think the word lions was gonna be literal, but I see a tail here, so I'm starting to think it's literal. I have no idea what this could be about. No more diddle dally. Let's get right on into today's Millennial Movie Monday, which comes to you from Hallow Beans winner, Nicole. This is the 2003 Secondhand Lions. Okay, the intro still gives nothing away. Ah, uh, you know what, honestly, if I knew for a fact I could do it, I'd probably do it too. This cop really taking off like you gonna pull over an airplane, sir? No. I have some bad news, it's about you two uncles. Did these men die in, a, in the plane crash? So that's Haley Joel Osment. Cross my heart and hope to die. Stick a needle in your eye. I met a guy last night. It's gonna pull some strings. Girl, what kind of business you running, girl? Mom, you're an only child. <laughs> so who are these men? Your great uncles. Oh. Still uncle, she wasn't lying. Here 40 years ago and just lying. back here in town. Second hand lions. I'm gonna be working my tail off learning court reporting. And when she's not in class, she's gonna be with that guy. Two old man got millions stashed away. She's trying to get an inheritance over here. They like me so the die and leave us their money? I think that's what she's trying to do. I'm sorry, what? And one pig. I don't think they want y'all there. I don't think they want anybody there. I love that car. That's a beautiful car. I was gonna say, show me the pig. That's a cute little baby. Empty. Get ammo, I'll keep him covered. I have no words, speechless, have no words, never seen that before. You sent for a hooker? <laughs> I do love her dress though. And I brought Walter. Relatives, damn. Yeah. We all have that feeling at family reunions, don't we? Little sissy boy hanging around all summer. Some little sissy boy. Your kid's a damn weenie. He's perfect just the way he is. Look at that little baby, give him scratches behind the ears. They're fine. I bet all that money's hidden real close by. Girl, have you never heard of a bank? Maybe if you'd learn to smile once in a while, then people might like you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> You're working on it. That's close. I don't know which one of those guys is Michael Caine. Is this movie gonna make me cry? Is this movie going to make me cry? If my mom calls, can we hear the telephone out here? She ain't gonna call. Ain't got one. No television? Go out there and shoot some fish. Rumor has it you two have millions stashed away. He got right to it. Love that for him. <laughs> they ain't trying to invest. So I think I figured out what they do all day and it scare other people away. 
Look at them green britches. Not a, not oil lamps. Oh my god. You sleep up there. In the tower. Like a princess. Like Rapunzel. It's a uh, adventure. I would rather sleep upstairs in a tower than in a basement. So if you need something, find it yourself. <laughs> We're both getting old. Fixing to die any time. Jesus Christ. We kick off in the middle of the night. You're on your own. You're not that close to death, buddy. Something tells me that there's not a mattress protector on that bed. And you, your, your sinuses are not going to be happy. Don't you need to find some water? Like do that in a sink with some toothpaste or something? Holland. You know, my first night in a creepy old house, I would not be opening creepy old trunks. What are the odds you find the key five minutes after thinking about opening the trunk? Oh, it's sand. Oh, it's sand. I honestly, I could not tell that it was sand. Well, take it down there. Go ask him. A plunger? Please tell me he's not going to an outhouse. You wouldn't need to plunge an outhouse. It's just a hole in the ground. Go uh -huh. Once again, I would not be walking around at night. <clears throat> Is this man sleepwalking? Has to be. Look at all the babies. I love them. They are so cute. Get into it, honestly. I rarely remember my dreams, and when I do remember them, they're nightmares. Now, kiddo, how the hell you fall asleep outside? I love that little pig. Brand new mattress. I'm still waking up tired and sore. Because you don't sleep on the mattress. Look at those babies. Breakfast. Breakfast on the plate, breakfast out the window. You two disappeared for... Where were you? Wow. I love how everybody in this movie is just very straight to the point. Gardening is what retired people do. <laughs> Retired from what, though? Make a lip to be a hundred. Hell with that. <laughs> <laughs> Who are these people? I trust animals, so those people are not good people. We know what you're up to. Uh, y'all up to that. He didn't have a choice in this. I'm telling you, take him to the orphanage right this minute. It's our business, not yours. Good on you, dude. I'm sorry, we're closed. Then why'd you answer the phone? Donna Tom go. So his mama has fake names? We're in some sort of trouble. She's gotta be there. She ups and leaves all the time? No one could have possibly just started. She left him. Oh my god, this movie's gonna make me cry in it. No, you, not me, no. Get out of the car. He's y'all's responsibility now. Y'all's together. You're not heading to uh, Fort Worth where your mama is. Cause she ain't there. She lied. Again. Again? She's dropped, she's left him somewhere before? Sounds like his mind's made up. Good luck in Montana, kid. This guy's really just like, figure it out, kiddo. I've been to the orphan home before. I don't want to go back. Which way is north? Good start. Don't be like that, you two. Come back to the house. Stay a while. Our relatives are gonna hate it. I love this. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. How's that root beer? Jeez, get into it, kid. Just slurp it down. Wonderful. Weekend. Why does his mustache feel so tiny? Oh, He's been here before. I was gonna say, why are you aiming at him? The other ones you just shot in the sky. Put down your guns and I'll come out. This guy is good. I can't wait. What's the good of having all that money if you're never going to spend it? Good point. See what the man's selling. Because if you don't spend it, then the dude over there is trying to get you to give it to him after you kick the bucket. Search the world over for that perfect item that'd be just right. I cannot wait to see what he has found. Voila. What is it? That in it is so simple to operate, even this child could But what does it do? What's it for? Oh, it's a ski shooter! Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Clay, clay pigeon shooter, I need to say. That is the biggest waste of money I have ever seen. It sounds like it's right up there alley, honestly. I won't have my children around with gun foolishness. And Lee. Well, then get your kids away from it. Not, not the hot mitts as earmuffs. This is a great bonding exercise for all involved, honestly. And that's way better than shooting a fish. 
So this dude sleepwalks every night. Does he have the same fencing dream every night? I tried to wake him once. He nearly tore my head off. Yeah, okay, then we're just going back away. What are you doing out here so late? Checking on that dude who's just sleepwalking all the time. He's looking for something. I wonder what he sees. He's looking for her. That's for sure, Michael Caine. You want me to tell his story? About Jasmine, specifically that story. What else y'all got going on? 1914. 1914? We going way back. Well, these people, we know they're not getting off the Titanic, huh? Is it too soon? Is it too soon to make that joke? One step ahead of the Germans. That's a risky game! I want to know. You know what? As you should, honestly. That looks like a lot of fun. Strong, strange drinks. Found in North Africa. What kind of alcohol is this that you end up going to North Africa? In the French Foreign Legion. Oh. Okay. Listen, y'all have heard me tell my, my story about my friend Kyle and how we almost got arrested one time because of me. At least I never accidentally enlist listed us in an army or something. I ended up leading safaris mostly. Safaris? That's fun. Slave trader or Bedouin? Good for him. Well, now I know what he was dreaming about. What the hell you two doing out here in the middle of the night? Ask yourself that same question, sir. Either one of you got a lick of scent. Ditto. And Jasmine looks fancy as hell. She got that big old necklace on. <gasps> Their garden is coming along so well. Please give him some tobacco. Put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. Wow, he didn't throw. There it is. It takes a little minute. It takes it just a moment, but you gonna throw up. Chew and tobacco put hair on your chest. I hope he gets a letter from his mom. I hope that's why he's running like that. Dear Walter, how are you? Now that I hear her voice, I just want to punch her. Las Vegas? Girl, did you not think that far ahead? Like, he ain't dumb. Your overalls a little long, ain't they? Beans. Beans. Aw, uh, beans isn't in here. You ain't ever seen a beat before? <laughs> My guy, look at the pictures in front of the rows. Tomatoes? Tomatoes? Yeah. Oh, they're all the same. Oh, they're all the same! All those seeds did look alike. Yeah, like corn. Oh, so y'all have a whole bunch of corn. Not the worst problem to have. I'm sorry, is that a giraffe? Is this an illusion? Is this a mirage? Okay, when the kid told you to spend the money, I don't think he meant buy a giraffe. <laughs> ah! <laughs> He's a man-eater. Maybe you should have told him before he walked up that close. Stand back, kid. You don't want to get mauled and eaten. Correct. Well, this lion head will sure look good hanging over our fireplace. You bought a lion just to hunt it? Kid at our age, this is as sporting as we get. I mean, hell, how many other old people has bought a lion just to shoot it? Let me see. Huh. Mimic you, baby! Get your lion butt out of there. Listen, a lion is still a cat, and you can't tell cats what to do. Looks kind of old. I'm tired. Some sick zoo cast off. No. I've never had a pet up my very yolk before. You know what? Haley Osman's voice gets on my nerves. Then we shoot it. Listen, should I act surprised by that? Sure. But I grew up raising pigs. So, like, I got attached just to sell it for slaughter. Circle of life. I named her Jasmine. Trigger word! For a lion. Oh. We don't talk about Jasmine. You know, in 40 years, I never had a call for it. Purina lion chow. Stop it. I know they're heavy. Hog feed is also 50 pounds a bag. And it's a bitch to get the whole bag up into a feeder. At the time, probably hit me right in my chest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go with those McCann brothers. What did you guys say about it? I love that. Exciting, fun, thrilling. Love this adventure for us. Why would a smart kid like you want to hear hokey old stories? Because it sounds like y'all had a pretty interesting life. About the handsome, heroic American. Ooh, you mean to tell me he got married to a princess? Ugh, how dreamy. 
The princess was the rider. The most beautiful woman he had ever seen. She is so pretty! Love. At first sight. Oh, stop it! Cute. If it was true love, they would have been married and- What picture do you think you found? She was promised to another man. I was gonna say, I don't think this is one of them things that they can just get married to each other if they want to. Eye patch man. And locked her up in his harem. Why did he need that princess if he already had a harem? She was going to slit her own throat. Her own th Just stab him! And she probably would have got stoned. What Uncle Hub do? Hub was doing what he does best. Kicking ass. <laughs> the two biggest guys scared. The tension. The love. The romance. The end. That's not the end. If, if they lived happily ever after, then, then, then they got- Then why is he so weird about her name? I think he's gonna make it. Who put me in here? You two! No, the other people you hang out with all the time. Home is that way. I wanna go this way. Why? Why are you so grumpy? He had to go. He had to get out of here. I'm afraid he's gone. Led a long for life. Oh my god, y'all think he's dead. No, girl. Mr. McCann checked himself out. Okay, so we're not gonna get rid of that side of the family easily at all, are we? So what's eating at you now? Getting old, dying? Probably, it's a big fear of mine. Being useless. That's a good fear. We outlived our time, brother. You still have a point to take care of this kid that got dumped on you for no reason. How's that barbecue? Give me some. No, get your own, punk. Too good natured to put a stop to it. But you mess with the wrong old man today. Just dumb kid, huh? Don't kill him. Right. <laughs> Don't kill him. <laughs> but he's gonna come close. Now go home, if I was that kid, if I was that kid, I would have pissed myself. Yeah. Y'all literally brought a knife to a gunfight. Hub, you just come out of the hospital. Yeah, and you had three knives pulled on you, dude. You fight this one first, fight the other three after. One at a time, not all five at once. You're gonna need all the help you can get. I can't wait for this. Ah! 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 All right, try again. Come on. Wow, you get a second chance? Oh, just break his arm already. See, look at you. You're not useless. You still got fight left in you. Literally. I thought he was going to break the bottle on his head. No, he he poured the liquid on it. The beer. The liquid. They're not back yet, Daddy. I'm sure we... They're grown people. They can be doing whatever they want to do. What's that? Beats me. You know what, honestly, they're about yeah. to learn their lesson today. They're gonna learn their lesson today and I love that for us. Stuffed. Baby, does it sound stuffed? You know what, if five dogs and a pig won't protect your land, I bet a lion will. Get some meat. Get some meat. Oh, there's been an accident. Aww, he's driving them home to take care of them. Put, put frozen meat on their boo-boos. Jasmine? Oh, Ooh, that's straight up raw meat. That's refrigerated meat. That ain't frozen meat. You got a liar. It's locked up. <laughs> that also wouldn't make me feel better. Now, Walter, you about to get your ass ate. Sorry. <laughs> I just have a dirty mind. Okay, I love that they're best friends, and now I want a pet lion. Die. And the kids got guns! Lord, this West Tennessee? You know what? My family would be upset that you took out all that corn. That's a lot of work. Ooh, no, I want to pet a lion so bad. We're leaving. And Good. We wanted you gone the first time. <laughs> the kids would just say bye. Jeez. You want to stay for supper? What are we gonna eat? Specifically the ones on your face? <laughs> this corn feels the closest thing to a jungle she's ever seen. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. We haven't checked on the giraffe in a while. Where's the giraffe? Will he give that speech to me? Assuming he's still around. That's so dark. You don't believe all this Africa stuff. It's a good story. I was believing it. <laughs> ah! Scared me. He and Jasmine had to be on guard every minute. Just leave the area. The claim is 10,000 pieces of gold. 
Wow, that escalated quickly. 1,387 tortures. Not one tortures, not two tortures, but that many tortures. You know, some people pay to go to that kind of dungeon. Look at Garth being the brave one and fighting. Freed her without dropping a single gold coin. We love a man that can multitask. <laughs> not, hitting, not hitting him on the head. But Hub just lowered his blade. Oh, I thought he meant lowered his blade like... <sighs> Please tell me Hub's gonna push him over the edge. That's always the best kind of death in a movie. I have given it back to you. Oh, that's good. Why are you gonna give the same person three times to screw you over like that, though? Once they discovered oil in this kingdom, and he became one of the five richest men. That's hilarious. The bad guy gets filthy rich? I mean, well. Those young men will be okay now. Thanks to you and your man talk. Terrorizing doctors, beating up teenagers. It's a big day. You've had a full day. <laughs> <laughs> you finally gonna tell me what happened to Jasmine? No. Why? You wanna know what happened to Jasmine, you're gonna have to ask him. Oh. It's his story. It's up to him to tell it. You're gonna have to ask him. Makes sense. I respect it. Let's go ask him. Did he buy an airplane? Clearly a fixer-upper airplane. <laughs> Climb, pull back on the stick. Descend, push forward on the stick. Done. I know how to fly. You asking me about Jasmine? When have we had time? You said no. He bought a plane. Now we're here. You better make it quick. That's so ominous. Why? Is Hub dying and we don't know yet? That's why he does like doctors. Is it gonna be cancer? I feel like this is a cancer story. Or Alzheimer's, like dementia. Like he could have sundowners instead of sleepwalking. Like this could be sundowners. Oh, you brave. You brave. Cause that could have ended totally different for you, dude. Oh, you just gonna wake him up out of his sleepwalking to ask him this traumatic story? I have to know. I have to. And I do too, honestly. You gotta talk about it now. She died. From what? It can't be that simple. Died in childbirth, hurting the baby. Am I gonna cry? <laughs> back to the only life I knew, back to the Legion. When you lose what you thought was your next step, you just start all over, I guess. And I got old and came here. So where'd all the money come from? The wa Oh, I guess he got married to a princess, so. Those stories about Africa, they're true, aren't they? Well, did you see him kick that group of five people's young, th 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 those five guys' young men kick their asses? Just because something isn't true, that's no reason you can't believe it. Wow, that's really good. A long speech I give the young man. Sounds like you need to hear a piece of it. Oh, just a piece, not the whole thing. The power and money, money and power mean nothing. Hmm. That good always triumphs over evil. It's who the man is, not what the man has. True love never dies. You remember that boy. Okay, that's really cute. That was a good speech. And that was only part of it. Could you imagine the rest? If you're my uncle, I need you to stick around and be my uncle. Where's he going? He's gonna die. I'll stick around and be your damn uncle. <laughs> Don't expect me to be happy about it. Stop. It almost got me. It almost got me. He gets the family he never had, and he gets the kid he never had. I love how they all three have matching hats and matching overalls. It's so much fun. Okay, and also I'm convinced that the giraffe was for me. Why are we shooting them? Oh! That's not real! He wasn't dressed in his nightgown, so I don't think he's sleepwalking this time. Oh, it's him. Oh, it's him. Sorry. <laughs> what are we keeping in the basement of this barn? Why are these two old men so mysterious? Well, he's found where they hid the money. So we know they really either did work for Al Capone or all of Garth's stories are true. Cause that money is very real. This money looks stolen to you? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. I don't know, they don't strike me as ex-mafia members. As if I know much about the Mafia or its members. You mean to tell me that boy's mama came back? You better not tell her where that money is. Come on, wanna go sit down? In the car? With y'all? No. 
We can talk on the porch. Oh, that's what they were gonna do. Okay, I thought they were gonna kidnap him. Wanna see my badge? Stan works in Las Vegas. How about that? I don't trust this guy. Your uncles match the description of two bank robbers from the 20s and 30s. Wasn't Jasmine the woman who was driving the getaway car? Ooh. I don't trust these two. I don't trust them. I left her for dead. There was too much pain in Hub's eyes for that to be true. Who are you gonna trust? The mother who has abandoned you, abandoned you multiple times, or the men who have helped raise you over the summer? It's what we always wanted. So who is we? Cause it ain't Walter. Walter, well you can't make it that obvious by looking at the barn in which it is hidden. Stan's got actual evidence and you believe that Africa crap? Yeah, I believe the Africa crap. We're gonna have a little chat, man to man. What? Mm. Dude, we just met you 30 seconds ago. Are you kidding me? Okay, so you really don't love his mama. You're not really a detective and you're awful. Lion, please kill him. Please kill him. Jasmine? Like, I understand that the lion is attacking someone, but he attacked him, so like, don't kill the lion. She did. Oh my god! What happened? Why did the lion die? Looks like her heart gave out in all the excitement. She died saving your life, buddy. She died with the boots on, that's the main thing. Whatever that means. Oh, and they're burying her in the middle of her own little personal jungle. Oh my god. And all the dogs are there. Stop it. I love how movies have pigs oinking constantly, and they don't. They don't always make that noise. So you all packed? Where's your suitcase? I love that dress. She has a wonderful wardrobe. Howdy, Stan. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky that lion got you before we did. Ooh. So why are you letting him go home with them? A man like that's got no business being around your boy. So why are you giving him back? Well, come on, honey. We're burning daylight. I can't believe he's really gonna steal that picture of Jasmine. What if he wants it, you know? She doesn't deserve that kid. That's what I've been saying! Listen, kid. Run away from home. Honestly. He said, I gotta go, mama. He said, I gotta go. He's like, I cannot live like this. And honestly, Walter, I don't blame you. But you always pick losers, and he's the worst of them all. Puberty was rough to Haley Joel Osment. Do something that's best for me. You shouldn't have to parent your parent. <laughs> Violators will disappear. Salesman ought to be here and whoop de doo. <laughs> wow, May really let him go. She chose to stay with an abusive husband than to be with her son. Wow. I'm glad Walter got away, but geez Louise. You both got responsibilities now. They didn't sign up for this. No more dangerous stuff. No fighting teenager. They, ain't go they definitely ain't gonna stop that. So he finally built that airplane and learned how to fly. That's what that is. They went together. You, you understand? The airplane. They kept their promise though, kinda. It was after you appear to be out of college. You said they could keep up the dangerous stuff after college. So, is he a real comic book writer or a comic strip writer? Because his um his little cartoons look familiar. <laughs> I should not I should not laugh. I'm so sorry. I should not laugh. They were trying to fly through that barn upside down. You'll never know if you never try. Been flown by two 90 year old men, neither one of them with pilot's licenses. Sometimes you gotta learn the hard way. And if you're about to go out, might as well go out with a bang. They went out with their boots on. Just like Jasmine the lion. Just plant us in the damn garden. <laughs> Stupid lion. <laughs> Who's choppering in right now? Are we about to get all these stories verified? He used to love to tell me stories about his wild youth. And... What? He called them his most honored adversaries. As they were. He spent my grandfather's gold wisely. <laughs> Pond in the pond. Men from great grandfather's stories, they really lived. And they were just as cool as they sounded. Is that it for real? All right, let's talk about it. This movie is like if Big Fish and Grumpy Old Men 
had a baby named Walter. <laughs> Honestly, kind of, if you think about it, kind of. Crazy stories like Big Fish, like hard to believe stories, whatever. Two grumpy old men, that's pretty self-explanatory. I tell you what, I was real, how in the world? Oh my goodness. How am I gonna have these cute, fun, little adventure stories and then throw in the super abusive, neglectful mother with the abusive boyfriend? She left him again. Honestly, best thing that could have happened for that kid. Wow, what a shit mom. Haley Joel Osment was going through puberty, or at least started during this time, because his little voice kept cracking, and it was so hard for me to focus whenever that happened, because it just do be like that sometimes. This is my second movie with Michael Caine, because like I said in the intro, Michael Caine was in The Muppet Christmas Carol. And I really thought, I really thought Hub going to the doctor and then like waking up and immediately throwing stuff and like getting out of the hospital, I really thought that it was going to lead to like a terminal ending story. I re well, I mean, I guess, well... A plane crash will do that to you. But I really thought the way he was avoiding a doctor, I really thought that meant that like he had cancer or something. I really thought. Anyways, I thought it was gonna be something super tragic like that. Not something tragic, but hilarious. Like trying to drive upside down through their shed. It was very cute. It was very cute, very heartwarming, very fun stories to follow along with because you don't know how it's gonna go. This was very cute. I don't think I would watch it again tomorrow, but it's a little feel good movie. Like if I was flipping through channels and it came on, I would watch it again, just not again tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna give this laughed a lot. And again, it takes Big Fish, which I love, Grumpy Old Men, which I love, and like had this cute little baby. I'm gonna give this movie four out of five stars for Secondhand Lions. I enjoyed it a lot. Just wouldn't watch it again tomorrow. So four out of five stars for me. Nicole, thank you so much, number one, for playing along with Hollow Beans giveaway and getting back to me so quickly as you did. Your goodies will be in the mail soon, if not already by the time this goes live. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, stick around. If editing Ashley knows what's coming up, she'll put it right here. If not, we can both be surprised. Links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside of the YouTubeverse and I'll see you right back here on Friday. Bye.